What is up guys, Rick Kakis here, and today we've got some brand new Anthem gameplay of, I believe, a never before seen mission that we're going to be showing off today. Now, I was able to capture this gameplay at an event last month in Sweden because I'm an EA game changer, so thank you to EA for providing for my flights and accommodations. I should also mention that this isn't the newest build of Anthem. What you're seeing in the background may change slightly from what you play in the demo and the final version of the game. So what the heck is going on with the background gameplay and the mission specifically, preventative precautions? Well, in terms of the mission, it's actually a contract acquired from the Sentinel, Bryn. Bryn is going to be kind of your main contact from the Sentinels, and the Sentinels are a faction within Anthem. Essentially, think of them as the police force of Fort Tarsus. They are also going to have access to the powerful suits that you use as a freelancer, but unlike the freelancers, the Sentinels don't really go out into the world and explore. They more stay within the walls of Fort Tarsus and focus on on protecting it. Now a contract mission is a little bit different than a normal mission as it focuses more on developing a single character, in this case again Bryn. As you advance that character, talk to them more, interact with them more, you're going to get more and more contract missions even leading into the end game when you have legendary contracts. In this instance we're kind of doing Bryn a favor, following in the footsteps of some sentinel arcanists and trying to deactivate a shaper relic within a cave. Now as for what I'm utilizing in the background, I have the Storm Javelin. All of the javelins, the classes within Anthem, have an emphasis on utilizing your abilities much more than other similar games. Whereas this guy specifically is utilizing his abilities all the time. You have firstly a lightning strike attack that just causes a devastating area of effect, kills most guys with a single summoning. Then you have ice shards that will home after enemies. If they don't kill them, they'll freeze them in place. You actually have a an ammo system accompanying that skill as well. It's not a one and done activation. Apart from that, you also have an ultimate ability that will call in several meteor strikes essentially of different elements and just decimate an entire area or can all be focused on a single target for tremendous damage. Something else important to know about the storm is that you actually get a protective shield when hovering, something unique compared to the other javelins. So you're going to see me hovering quite a bit and utilizing my abilities whilst airborne. Now I did go even more in depth into the storm and compared it with another javelin, the ranger while also presenting gameplay in my previous video, so check that out if you want more information on this class and more classes, but sticking on to what's in the background, you may be wondering what weapons I am utilizing. Well, each javelin has access to two weapons to complement their abilities. I've got a normal assault rifle, just hold the trigger, fires fully automatically, and I've also got a double shot pistol. Every time I squeeze the trigger, two rounds are going to come out in a relatively quick burst. Great for just, you know, one shot can just double burst down a guy if you get both shots to the head. And that's really all the setup I wanted to do for this video so that you guys know what's going on in the background. Now I'm just going to let the gameplay roll and I'll cut in with commentary every time there's something I feel like I want to explain further. So enjoy the video. Not much around except broken sheep or bits. No signs of archivists. We'll keep looking. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Sure, they just leave it lying around. Okay, well, if you don't see anything arcanisty, they probably got it hidden. So I should look for some kind of scar shed? Uh, sure. How about a scar cave instead of... Now something you're going to occasionally see me do in the background gameplay is harvest materials. 
Although that was admittedly pointless because I'm not going to be playing this character when the full game comes out, it's because Anthem does have a fully fledged crafting system. So going around the world exploring and harvesting these sort of materials is going to help you get a weapon that you perhaps really want for your build. If you've been looting and it just can't get a shotgun, you can craft one yourself, kind of as a backup system for bad RNG. Why would be somewhere creepy like If you're wondering what all those explosions were, it was the ultimate for the Colossus Javelin. And coming up next is my Storm Ultimate. Now you may have just noticed that I've picked something up and it's popped up on my screen as uncommon item. This is me collecting a piece of loot within Anthem. You aren't going to get to know everything about this item just yet, just the rarity and that's kind of it. Once your mission ends and you go back to Fort Tarsus, all of the loot you've collected along the way will be decrypted and displayed as well as additional pieces of loot that you got for beating the mission. The bad news is that, yeah, sometimes you want to know what you get, and it doesn't let you switch within the mission, so that is kind of disappointing. The good news is that you won't have people distracted by what they got and trying to change their entire builds mid-mission. And considering all of Anthem is playable with matchmaking, this could be solving a huge issue. So, as your character points out, this Shaper artifact is spawning scorpions, an enemy type within Anthem. And this is just one of the many crazy things Shaper relics can do. They are there to shape the world, whether that's change the environment or, in this case, spawn enemies. So, you fighting your way through this world, surviving in this world, and encountering all of these crazy artifacts and relics and trying to turn them on or off, whatever the situation requires, is going to be a key factor within Anthem. Found a piece. Nice work, return it! A fragment back. Good! Reassemble it! 
Thank the shiny shield of General Tarsus. Were those scars deliberately trying to force a Shaper artifact to create scorpions? Maybe? And so guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Anthem content and there's a lot more to come, definitely hit that subscribe button. And if you want to stay up to date with the latest channel activity, be sure to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That's linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.